All right, fellow maiden. Listen to my voice. Head to the cave if you wish to stay alive. Head to the cave! Okay, okay, I get it. Head to the stinking cave! Man, why does this have to happen to me? What did I do to deserve this? Three hours later. Oh, so that's what happened? So that was why I was isekai'd. When I kissed my boyfriend on the roof, it activated some ritual or whatnot. Even after saying that, it still seems to be so random just to summon someone like me. Usually I would have to be hit by a truck or something to get here. Indeed! This destroys those ancient ways! This ritual goes for... something a lot more flashy! To bring on the way for a better world! But, before I get ahead of myself, we should be acquainted. I am... Alex! Warrior of Might! Alright! As I was saying, this ritual was what made us transverse worlds. So, in order for the doors to allow us back to our original worlds, we need to create another miracle of sorts. So, what you're saying is... I have to fight a dragon in Kalat's eyeball out while it still stands! Oh, I need to kiss someone on the roof to complete a sort of mating ritual! Why is your mission a whole lot easier? to fight a dragon while you get to smooch someone? Hello? That's the whole difference in difficulty levels. <laughs> well, I mean, it's not like that at all, but never mind. Okay, I got to get this rotten eyeball from this dragon. Exactly how am I going to do that? Well, I'll figure it out as I go on. Well, it's now or never. Got to take on a dragon with superpowers. There is nothing that can go wrong with that. I must warn you, this dragon is very hard to take down. Its neck is covered with thick scales that make up a strong armor around itself. Even if you do take down this beast, it is immortal. It will come back to life again and again until the world is nothing but ash. When I was enacting this ritual, my intentions were to bring on something that could finally end this monstrosity's existence, once and for all. In the end, it was nigh. I'm doing this to now, to avenge my village that was scorched into oblivion, letting waste to all with no mercy. I shall return to this quest without haste to save my feather world, and to bring an innocent maiden back to her home! Wow, you really go all up for your dreams, huh? It makes me look super ordinary from that huge load of a backstory, right out of a JRPG from the used section of a game store. You really make fun of my entire life story, when your greatest moment is getting a kiss from a boy, and you think I'm super generic. Ugh. I, that's well deserved. Alright, before I go, I need to know something very important. Uh, okay, what do you need to know? Here is what it is. A part of myself that one deeply regrets is that I really struggle when it comes to socializing with others. Oh really? Funny. For me, it's usually I'm the one who's talking, so I can definitely help with that. The thing is, when talking to others, people usually have a pattern they follow. You just need to see one's energy in a conversation. <laughs> you know, besides the magic mirror thingy between us, this feels like we're hanging out as friends in my original world. Hey, Alex. Alex, are you there, buddy? I just remembered something. You're going to really stand out if you stick with that whole warrior thing. You'll definitely want to change out of that ASAP. Okay, on it! Sir, I'm in need of your robes for an important quest! <laughs> what are you doing? This can't be happening! Am I being robbed? What's happening? Ah! Well, it is nice to meet you, everyone. 
I'm the transfer student here to complete a sacred mission. The name's Lightning McKean. <laughs> I'm quite alright. After all, I'm literally perfect. One such as I doesn't need a uniform. You're so right, Katsuya. You're the best. Another thing, big guy. If you're nervous to make eye contact with another person, just look a bit to the left of them so it fools them into thinking you're still making eye contact. Trust me, it's worked a lot in the past. Good to know. Thank you, maiden. Let's go. Alex can definitely do this. His funny demeanor and booming voice will definitely win someone over. Suddenly, one such as I had fallen in love with you. Wait, no! That's coming on way too strong! Uh, how am I going to not sound like a complete oaf?